Hi everyone, welcome to Straight from the Divine Tarot. We're Wednesday, April 5th, 2023, and I'm here to do a collective read for you guys. It's a timeless read. Um, I don't use the science, I don't use the genders, because it's all energy anyway. So if this is your read, you're going to know from the description of the characters as well as the storyline. So take what applies, toss the rest, don't try to make things fit. Okay, use your higher wisdom and discernment always with, with tarot. I will be using the he and she pronoun just to keep it straight in my head, so... Um, I don't want to confuse you. You know what genders you're, you're dealing with, you know. So place, you know, move it around if you need to. Uh, just remember, it's a general read. Not every read's going to be for you, okay? Don't shoot the messenger neither. If I trigger you, then there's a reason why. There's something unhealed within you, okay? Uh, I apologize that my intention is not to trigger you, but I am very blunt. Uh, I don't mince words because there's only so many hours in a day. You know what I mean? we got to give up this coddling. We have to tell the truth. So people can heal, can realize the truth, right? Because, yeah, a lot of us are in denial at times. So it's actually a gift. If somebody gives you the truth, point blank, it's a gift to you. It's constructive. It's meant to be given in constructively, not to destroy, okay? And I, I, that's the last thing I want to do is destroy people. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be very direct. That's the way I am. That's how I operate. And I do appreciate pe people being direct with me because all my life, everybody's lied to me. Okay. For some reason, they can never tell me the truth. So that's why I appreciate truth and directness. Um, I'll bring out the tarot cards. I'll give you the description of the card as it comes out, as well as what I'm picking up intuitively. You know your story best. It could be all the descriptions, some are one, and then we bring it together at the end. I want to thank you. Again, I think it's Diane. Thank you for your donation. And again, the other person the other day. But anyways, thank you for your PayPal donations. For your um, super thanks or whatever it is on, um, on the on the channel, on the uh, below the videos. I'm truly grateful. Thank you very much. Thank you for your kind words and your support, everyone. I'm truly, truly grateful. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. I have a quick, quick... Um, answer to somebody's query here somebody had asked uh, I, I suppose they were referring to black magic or spell work um shouldn't the persons uh, only the persons doing this um black magic shouldn't they be the only ones uh, receiving punishment or discipline for it right getting the comeuppance and what spirit says here is um this person stated that they think that the spellcasters alone should receive the backlash and karma for doing spell work on the innocent. Um, so it kind of reminded me or made me feel like this person's scared and they're making excuses for their participation in harming and or wishing ill on others. Spirit gave you ample time to stop whomever you're associated with from doing harm to at, ver at the very least speak up and cut these people out of your life or warn the, uh, uh, the intended victim. You didn't do any of that. Now you know what's at stake, okay? Now you do know what's at stake. Now you know because you and yours are being affected and haunted by whatever this is. It was okay for the intended victim and their loved ones to experience this evil, but not for you. How uh, hypocritical, okay? That's why I, read this. I forgot what I wrote. It says beneath that, how hypocritical of you. If you uh, sat in the back seat of a getaway car during a bank robbery, you would be charged as an accessory and punished. Or if you stood by while a gang of nitwits attacked an innocent person physically, but you didn't stop it, you'd be liable as well. Instead, you laughed, you instigated, you egged them on. You took great pleasure in seeing someone hurt. You are as, you are as culpable as the ones physically harming the intended victim. Just like in a court setting, your excuses and your denials will not and will they do not and will not hold water. It's all fun and games, right? Until you are held accountable for your ugly heart and ugly actions. Ignorance is not an excuse. It certainly isn't bliss to those you, you participated in in hurting others. Take your lumps, that's what Spirit says. You had a choice, the ones you harmed did not. So, and the other message for whomever is out there, tuck that jealous back in, it's showing. Let's start the read, shall we? Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, the white light. What is the first card up here? How would you like to open up this read for the collective for today, please? What is the my Oopsie. No, no. Oh, that kind of fell out. Well, watcher. Wisdom, power of the divine, number seven. 
chariot. There's awareness here, radical acceptance. You got to accept whatever this is, I think. Somebody's moving on. Uh, sometimes it's very disappointing, right? Whether it's a relationship, a family, uh, a work, a job, whatever, friends, you have to take it for what it is, okay? They show you who they are. They do. Uh, sometimes we're in denial. We don't want to believe it, but they definitely show you who they are. So it's time to move on, I think. Okay. You get your downloads. You're listening to your higher wisdom. Um, this is an old well, whatever kind of bird that is. It looks sick, right? They could be going to jail. They're stuck in their mind. They're stuck in their old ways. Um, the well is old. So it's probably not a lot of water at the bottom here. So they have to dig deep for any kind of emotion. Okay. You could be dealing with some sort of energy vampire or something. The dream walker dreams, the collective good illusions eight. So you had a lot of, um, integrity, loyalty, and honesty. Okay. You were strong. You were probably the strength in whatever this is relationship or the backbone. You know what I mean? You do things for the collective good. That means you, you think things through, right? Hmm. Something to do with dreams. Your dreams are coming true. They could have thought your dreams were illusions. <laughs> You could have thought you were diluted, diluted, but you're not. Somebody was actually casting illusions about you. They were hiding behind another person or a persona, as you can see. You stuck your neck out for this person a lot. No more. So that's the underlying energy. This is the overarching energy. Bottom of the deck, the ring master, scrutiny, discernment, clear vision, and details. Somebody was hiding and cloaking things. It could be an investigation. There was a rat here. You, you shined a light upon that. Uh, here's the rat. You were weaving, spinning yarns, weaving webs here. They got trapped in their own web. They're hiding here. Kind of hiding behind some uh, messaging and or some word magic or something. But you know who they are. Damn spanky. Could be a contract as well. Somebody's a rat. Okay, maybe you're going to get ratted out. <laughs> Why is the well watcher here? It could be present time. Number seven. Wisdom, power of the divine. So the divine is, is bringing this about. You have high wisdom here. Thank you. The same as yesterday, Masquerade 15. And I shuffled, pre-shuffled and shuffled. This is the devil wearing a mask. Karmic, very karmic energy. Codependent. Uh, there's jealousy. There's ego. There's addictions. Anything that binds. They wanted to bind you to something. Wearing a mask here. Maybe they wanted to be you. Bottom of the deck, Fragmentation 27. There's an inv investigation. They're hiding something for sure, whoever this is, okay? Their stories aren't jiving or jibing. Is it jiving or jibing? Anyways, they're not coming together here. It's obvious these people are lying and are hiding or confident. Oh, I'm not going to say that. Could have been doing some moon magic here. A lot of lies and illusions, right? If they're doing magic, they're, they're, their mind could be fragmented right now. Artificial heart. Hangman, they could have wanted to sacrifice you, or you did. You sacrificed a lot for these people, and they all they had was an artificial heart. They didn't come from a, a heart space, right? They, there was no love here. They wanted you struggling. They didn't want to let, uh, want you to let go of them, and or they're not wanting to let go of you. W wasting your your freaking time clock here, okay? Waste your life. They're unhealed and they're unawakened, so don't deal with them. Don't deal with it, okay? Radical acceptance. Take it for what it is, right? Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, the white light. Well, watcher number seven, move forward, right? This is victory. You're being uh, div divinely, or this is all divinely orchestrated, by the way, okay? You're being guided. You're moving on. You could be moving or traveling. Well, watcher number seven and masquerade 15. So somebody was putting on some airs here, right? The liar. Two of them that came out. Oh, so no, it's too many. Put them back in. Well, Watcher 7 and Masquerade Wise is here. Thank you. Ascending. You ascended. They didn't. That's why you, you just don't. You're not on the same frequency here. They need to ascend. They need to do some work on themselves. Transcending obstacles. And you're able to do that when you're ascending or you are you have ascended. Obstacles are just like a little, um, a little bump in the road for you. Okay. Learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Somebody's jealous, jelly, jelly. I told you, tuck that back in, it's showing. Passion, bottom of the deck, insane chemistry, like each other equally and having fun. Somebody could have been using the uh, you're my soulmate, you're my twin flame jargon as well. Put it on a mask. Maybe they know that you are the divine masculine or feminine, doesn't matter, and they want to take your place. Acting like they're ascended. Really? 
<laughs> putting on airs, right? How long do you think that's going to last? If you're truly uh, not ascended, it's going to show. Hand of cards. Take a chance. Risk being strategic options. Not showing hand in gambling. Yep. To go what? A big gamble and you lost. Golden mirror. Knew it. Self-absorbed narcissist. One side of relationship and love bombing. See, narcissists are so good at acting. Because they have no emotions. So they study people. They study how to emote those emotions. <laughs> they don't actually feel them. But those closest to them know the truth, right? Because they're so uh, hypocritical. They're so all over the place. You know what I mean, right? One lie after another to cover up lies. So eventually, it doesn't make sense. It's fragmented, like the card said, right? Oh, spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors of the white light. Why is the well watcher here? Number seven, masquerade 15 and ascending, please. You think, karmics, you think that if you skip the work, you're going to ascend? Absolutely not. I wonder if you can go lower than karmics status. <laughs> I should ask. I should ask. Pentacles. Missed opportunity. An opportunist, possibly. Stolen funds. Um, I heard bribery just now. Okay, well, whatever. Um, no stability. Somebody doesn't have gifts. They're not a blessing. They're not being blessed. So if they said they had spiritual gifts, they don't. Um, the, the most high, you know, usually aces in the upright are gifts from the divine. The hands out, giving you whatever. And the reverse, obviously, he's taking it away. So they could be getting their um, spiritual gifts stripped off of them. Overarching energy. Ooh, it's a family or a group, or this is extreme happiness, emotional fulfillment and happiness here. It's also tens, because tens also indicate a closing a uh, cycle. So you, I don't know. Somebody's happy here, though. Bottom of the deck. They're moving on. Six of swords in the upright. They're moving to a better place. They could be traveling. This is being plucked out of rough waters by spirit and brought into calm waters to heal. They might want to meet you. This could be family or a group wanting to meet you in calm waters. But you're, you're being led by spirit. See the moon back here. You're listening to your intuition. You know where you need to go. You know what you need to do. That's beautiful. This is spiritual protection. You listen to spirit's nudgings, right? Yeah, somebody lost control of the situation. They could be uh, very scared or intimidated. Uh, they need to humble themselves, or you've humbled them. Uh, they're scared here. They lost. They don't have integrity, loyalty, or honesty. You hurt their pride. Wow. Because you're happy and you've moved on. And it's a typical narcissist. You don't leave a narcissist, they leave you, right? And before they leave you, what do they do? They, they, they line up their, their supply. They're, they're, um, they're others. They devalue you to everyone and anyone that will hear them. Right? And then they, they and once you're gone, they, they, they start a smear campaign. And they don't forget. They don't forget that you've left them. Okay? It could be years later and they're still trying to hurt you. Why is the Ten of Cups here in the upright? Six of Swords in the upright. Thank you. Yeah. Parting away is grieving and regretting. Five of Cups. Oh, dear. Could be drinking a lot, too. You might have brought this narcissist to their knees. They wanted you like this, possibly. <laughs> Three of Pentacles, ending a third-party situation, a collaboration. They were lazy, didn't want to put the work in, and very disrespectful. They're on their own now, maybe, or they wanted you on your own, crying. This is a breach of contract, maybe. You're not helping them, possibly, if they're asking for money or help, or a place to stay. I don't know. Let's see. False contract. This could be a false uh, spiritual contract as well. Yeah, you're you're outing them. They're, they've been exposed for what they've done here. Very disrespectful. And it's coming to a complete end here. They're out of control. They don't want to take accountability. This is a wake-up call for somebody. Okay? They didn't want to stop doing what they were doing. They're being outed here. Possibly you're doing it. Or just the fact that you left them. And their stories are not um, coming together. People are wondering now. It could be on the down low as well. Oh, that's what it is. So it could be all these things or some. Remember that. 
They could be on the down low and you outed them. Uh, I, not on purpose, mind you, but because I don't believe that people should do that because that could be very um, emotionally painful for someone, okay? You don't know what kind of shit they have to go through. But maybe they're on the down low and their actions spoke louder than words and, and now people see, see them for who they are. Yeah, something backfired here. Something stopped suddenly. There's no forward motion. There's no communication because they were lying, cheating, and or stealing. Typical narcissism, right? Being sly here. Thought they got away with everything, but they left behind some evidence here. Two swords. They didn't know that. Yeah, was a, they didn't invest in you or this was a poor investment. You could be the one that got away, by the way. You're not talking to them. You, you're the one that got away. They didn't invest in you. This is uh, the end of the road. They can't go any further. They, they've lost a lot of money. You are obviously a narcissist. That's what they bargain on. Sex, money, you know what I mean? Uh, energy from their supply. They might have to relocate. Yeah. Bad news for them, right? Page of Wands in Reverse. They're a player energy. Eight of Wands in Reverse. Seven of Swords in the Upright. Seven, seven, by the way, again. If it's here, if this resonates with you, Seven of Pentacles in reverse here. They didn't invest in you. They can't harvest from you any longer. See those baskets in reverse, right? It doesn't hold shit anymore. They can't collect from you anymore. They overestimated themselves and underestimated you. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Why is this here, please? This could be fit, male or female. It doesn't matter, okay? Yeah, they're parting of ways. It was all a one-sided deal, or it could be a, a contract as well. A fake contract of some sort. They could have uh, used um, credit fraud or something, or, I don't know, lied on a contract. But it was all one way, and it's a parting of ways here. This is, um, they got to benefit from it, and nobody else did, right? This is not using your higher wisdom. There's consequences. Lovers in the upright or in the reverse, it's a card of consequence. Yeah. They're watching you. They're spying on you. Page of Swords in the upright. They're maybe trying to delay some communication from coming towards you. You cut them out here. You don't care. Yeah, maybe that's what they want for you. It's getting old. It's getting old, right? They're wishing that upon you. Poor decision. This is a card of poor decisions. Page of Swords in the upright. They're angry. Knight of Wands in reverse. They feel entitled to whatever you own or have course it's a narcissist right they're argumentative and uh, confrontational they think their shit doesn't stink doppelganger that's what a narcissist does they learn you okay it's not the actual em uh, emotions they take on other people's lives that they admire but they take it on as theirs they claim everything right they take credit for your work your ideas your achievements player energy they're never serious right they never take anything serious you can't trust them because, you know, they'll say, yeah, I'll be there tomorrow at whatever time. And they never, they never show up. It's them, them, them. They just want the attention, right? It's over. Whew. You're angry because you might, might have a platform and you're winning. You're divinely protected. You've moved on. You're traveling. Yeah, you're standing in your power here. Queen of Wands in the upright, male or female. You're very alluring, handsome, beautiful, confident as all get go. You're spiritually protected. You're loyal. You're committed. You're creative. You go your own way. You're independent. You don't need anybody. So if anybody's in your life, it's not because you need them. It's because you want them there. Um, don't tell this person about themselves. They'll tell you about yourself. They're a warrior, okay? They fought many battles, and they're not afraid to take whomever this is, okay? They're not afraid to take them on. So we have the Ten of Wands. So somebody, this person made a conscious decision to put down their burdens that other people have placed upon their backs and ended a cycle or cycles, many, with this person or persons, okay? So this was a shock to this person, a revelation, because by doing that, some truths came out. They could be getting tossed out, who knows, right? Of a home, a group, a family. Um, your, sh your crown shock was lit, and now they, I think this is a shock to them, how intuitive you are. You're laying, the, you're laying them bare for all to see, okay? You st the, the divine's stripping them. This is the actual universe doing this. This is divine. They got their warnings. They were warned over and over again to stop doing what they were doing, to turn it around, um, to do good. And they didn't listen. So the, that's the divine tearing it all down. Something was built on a false foundation, giving a false sense of security and false impressions. There's the divine, right? The sun, truth and clarity. Wow, that source, right? 
You're happy, healthy, wealthy, and wise. And they did, yeah, you're highly intuitive. Oh, that's what I said. Your crown chakra is lit. They know now how intuitive you are. There were a lot of lies and secrecy here, okay? But you have a great balance between your dark and your light, your masculine and your feminine. All knowing, all seeing. You have a direct connection with Source. You love the divine. They give you downloads. That's how you know. You hold the key to whatever this is. You are the key. Okay? Male or female, doesn't matter. High priestess. Highly intuitive. You give wise counsel as well. You don't say much, but you observe. Why is the sun in the upright? High priestess, yeah. Now, they, this could be a soulmate. Past life soulmate. Karmic soulmate. Doesn't matter, but this is soulmate connection. Somebody partnered up. You knew somebody had another person. Or they partnered up with someone. Party, party, party. Right? You have wish fulfillment. Maybe they want to reconnect with you because you are wish fulfillment. You have success and achievement here. They want to party with you some more. Let's kick it. Yeah, I don't think so. High Priestess in the Upright. Two Cups in the Upright. Why is this here, please? The secret, they had a secret. Yep, they're heartbroken. A third party. So they brought in, they, they put you in a third party situation. You sound like you're very divine. You could be a divine masculine or feminine. You don't do that with a divine masculine or feminine. You don't involve them in third parties whether it's sex and or duplicity or anything like that okay you don't you're only going to wind up hurting your own heart heartburn heart attack i don't know this is you're dealing with a narcissist can't make it out right Not king of swords in reverse pathological liar a, they're a user they abuse they're cold calculating and cruel they want you to come back here they're not happy they're pretending they're happy because you've gone they have no emotional fulfillment or happiness they don't have emotions Okay, they want you to come back here so they can <laughs> lord it over you again. Well, it would be a big ego boost to them, right? They're corrupt. They're corrupt. They bend to public pressure. They don't want to move on from this investment that they've had with you. Because it, was it wasn't love. It was an investment, okay? I'm telling you right now. They got money. They got energy. They got whatever out of you. Clout, fame, whomever, whatever. King of Swords in reverse. Nasty piece of work. Male or female? Oh, I'm going to put that back in. Male or female? Very nasty piece of work. King of Swords? Yep. They're stuck in their head or they could be going to jail. They're very restricted. Um, there's too many obstacles. They can't come towards you. You're too strong for them. Hmm. They're stuck in their ego as well. Wow. They're very worried here. They're not eating or sleeping. So they've done something. They're being haunted by... a possibly how they treated you, um, what they've done to you. They're overthinking. The owls here, they know. Um, you get your downloads here. This could also indicate death, right? They could have wanted to cause you, you know, your ending. They're being haunted by this. And or if they sent magic your way, whatever they sent your way, they're being hounded by it, okay? They're stuck they're bound just to the do uh, to old stinky here. If they did do something, they shouldn't have done with uh, energy, okay? Or maybe they got off. This was a big ego boost to them to keep you trapped in your head, to keep you worrying, not able to eat or sleep, worrying about them, where they are, blah, blah, blah. Sending you um, entities. Take it as it flies. They felt entitled to this, right? But you're too strong. You're resilient. You have integrity, loyalty, and honesty and courage. This is something they don't have, okay? You, you're very humble as well. But they're acting from a place of lust, possibly. Yeah. They lie. There's no success here. Ace of Swords in reverse, okay? No clarity. There's lies. No communication. They betrayed you. The ultimate betrayal, right? This is a harsh and painful end for somebody. Ten of swords in the upright. And you know it's all... The swords haven't even touched this person, right? It's all mental. They're being, they're getting all these intrusive thoughts. So it could be haunting um, by entities and or whatever they've done. Okay? It's catching up to them, right? You see these mountains? It's nothing but struggles for this person. They're not coming into the promised land. Okay? Not of milk and honey. Nah, nah, nah. You stay over there. Okay? Yeah. They have to heal. So they're taking time out to contemplate. They've been sitting on the truth for a very long time. They're heartbroken. They're armored up. They could be couch surfing. 
wherever they are, they possibly don't trust the persons and or they're armored up because they're being hounded by whatever they sent your way. You know, maybe they got bats and <laughs> knives under the mattress. I don't know. Take it as it plays. But this is uh, taking some time out to pray, which is hilarious when I hear that, when people play with dark. They, they don't believe in the divine and they believe in old stinky. It, it, does that make sense? Anyhow, they're trying to strategize here because they know you don't trust them. They can't come correct. They don't want to take responsibility though, right? They're unfaithful. They can't, you can't trust this person. They, you can't, the end of, they can't come correct, right? They're on stale and stagnant. It's been too long since they've spoken to you or you've seen them or I don't know what it is. Ace of Swords in reverse, 10 of Swords in the upright. Let's bring this to an end, please, Spirit. Yeah, speaking the truth. You're speaking your truth. People are seeing the truth. Coming out of denial. If you were mentally conflicted, you are not anymore. They're being let go. Ooh, letting go of a marriage, a commitment. You're a hierophant. So they're seeing the truth here. You are a hierophant. P somebody's going, getting married. They're committed here. Something to do with religion or spirituality. They didn't invest. Yeah, they got into this relationship because they were uh, an opportunist. I'm sorry to have to tell you that. Hmm. They're a fool, right? They thought you were naive. No, you're not naive. Now they feel left out in the cold. Now they can't get their eyes off of you, okay? Um, I know in some cases, some of these reads, there's a narcissist that ac accused you or their ex of doing spell work on them, and it was bullshit, right? Because they wanted the third parties to temporary people and things, right? Things that don't last. And they ignored the gift from the divine. So they're trying to save face because they are the ones that were <laughs> doing spell work on you. But you're too highly elevated. It didn't take and went right back to them. Okay, so they're losing money. They're losing, you know, like, just a fool. They lost an opportunity. They're losing money. They're losing side pieces, maybe. I don't know. But now they can't get their mind off of you. So, they, again, they accused you of spell work. It was them. It's just a backfire. Whatever they sent your way has backfired. Now they're they're totally in love with you. Yeah, they went to the crossroads. You got to make a choice, right? You got to pick a master. You've already picked them, right? So you've got whoever I'm speaking to, the evil one, whatever. It was strutting around, acting like I'm a stud. Look at me. No, you're not, okay? Squirrely person. <laughs> thinking that they, I'm uh, thinking they're fertile. Look at me. Look at me. I'm going to... I'm lucky. I'm lucky. No, you're not. Your luck's run out. So they have to pick a path. No matter which path they pay, uh, they they choose, it's going to be hard hardship ahead ahead of them, right? They have to heal. They have to make up for what they've done. They have to take on their take their karma and take their lumps and take it, right? Uh, they are dealing with vultures. You know, just vultures are going to be picking them clean before they get it past those mountains. I think they're gold digger, clout chaser. This is the change. Okay, universe is backing you up. You know what I mean, Jelly yeah, they are placed under divine judgment. There's awareness here. There's the decisions that have been made. This is a rude awakening for them. It is a wake-up call. It could be a spiritual awakening, awakening here. They might want a second chance with you, but they have nothing to offer you, okay? Compared to what you have, they have nothing. They're not practical. They don't do their homework. They're, they're lazy, don't want to put the work in, and very disrespectful. And they don't have any money. That's why they're coming. Yep, they abuse people. They're criminal. They're reckless. They go over the edge. They have anger issues right because you're single abundant independent stable and secure self-sufficient you get your downloads straight from the divine right you're covered underneath this umbrella that the divine's got over you anybody that is in your world benefits from that as well right because you attract right you attract love you attract money you attract everything you need you have nine out of ten pentacles and they're raging about that they wanted to live a life of luxury and ease and opulence off your back. It's too bad. You're an earth angel. You're quite balanced. You're healing. You're a healer. You're very patient. You uh, you alchemize. You you transmute the dark energies they sent towards you. and send Bye-bye. It's back to them. They know they need to heal. They know they need to take some time out and heal. I think they don't know. They didn't know who they, they were fucking with, Right? They were spreading egregious gossip, saying you're unstable, using, stealing your money. This could be a disbanding of a coven as well. Parting away ways, they're not happy because now they're, they've lost money. And this is justice, okay? So they're not happy. They, all they wanted to do was third parties and drinking and 
taking advantage of people. And now they're this. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Boring from Peter to pay Paul. Very unstable here. You made the wrong choice. Oh, well. Right? Justice. That means something wasn't fair, wasn't balanced, was amoral or criminal. This is the truth coming in. You're, the divine is now balancing the scales, and this is karma. This is a wish fulfillment here. You have achievement. You have um, success. Congratulations, okay? These people should learn. I'm bringing in a new deck here just for quick. Uh, see what Spirit has to say. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, white light. Well, one, one card for more clarity here for, for the collective, please. Thank you. Number two, high priestess. Wow. A deep knowing. Yeah, 30, you're a, a divine feminine. Can't make that. Out. Look, look, she's going to kill this teddy bear. <laughs> I'll take you. See, that's a, a, a nib, a writing pen. So somebody's messaging you shit, spells or something. You're going to take them out. I don't mean literally, but you know. Number two. You know who's doing it, and you know what's coming for them. So in the upright, it's distraction. The modern daily environment is a chattering chaos of information and opinions. Staying on top of it all is an impossible task, but many people keep trying nonetheless. Pardon me. The media pitches in to pluck away at your ability to focus. Your attention span is being whittled away by small diversions and endless electronic input. You've forgotten what it's like to operate on your own without sharing every thought and experience with others. These distractions are pecking at you like re restless birds. Shoo them away. So the light side, which is upright, there are beautiful and necessary ideas fluttering around, fluttering around trying to get your full attention. So drop, get off of um, social media for a while. And just be you. Just, you know, do whatever you need to do. But let spirit communicate with you. Okay? Let's see what demons you are dealing with. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, white light. Give us one card here for the collective here as we're closing this read. Thank you. We've got view owl. Three of cups. Third party inter uh, interference here. They want to reconcile with you. They want to celebrate and party with you. Get you drunk, get you high, whatever they do, right? <laughs> or they want to, they want to threesome with their third parties. Yeah, I don't think so. Bottom of the deck. We have Hagenti, four cups. Yeah, missed opportunity, feeling sorry for themselves, feeling rejected. They don't want to be, re they want to reconcile, but they're afraid of rejection. Yep, tower. That would bring a tower in their, in their lives here. The tower is Malthus. Wow. So that would really do their head in if you reject them. Angels, what is the message here for the collective? What is the parting message for the collective? Ooh, okay, that flew. We have now child, 21, it's over. You kind of a platform as well. You're moving on here. Lessons learned. You learned your lessons. Whether they did or not, it's not your concern. The only God. Yeah, you got to pick a path, right? You can't serve two masters. There's only one God. Desire for knowledge protects from liars, evil spells, and bad spirits. I told you they were doing spell work. Even though it didn't really come out here, this is the tail end. They can, I don't think they can do any more spell work. I think they're really, they're, they're, they're feeling that the, the effects of it has come right back to them. Three pentacles. Power three, right? It's just a, a contract in the ethers, third party situation, a collaboration. I-E-A-L, L, 58, that's 13. So it's death, death and rebirth. You, This is death to them, rebirth for you. Something's changed, something's over. God hearing lamentations, mental force protects against sorrows and illness. They wanted you ill. They wanted you crying on your knees, right? Ten of wands. Yep, They're, they had a point to prove, right? They had a chip on their shoulder. Now they have all these burdens on their back. Nana L, 53H. They should have led with integrity. You're too strong for them. God humiliating the proud. Spiritual communication influences religious men, teachers, and men of law. And I suppose women of law as well, or men, women as well. So we're going to get one more. And let's read this. Well, watcher, they're going to jail and they're stuck. They're bound. Wisdom, power of the divine. The divine's all over it. It's universally driven. It's a chariot. You had awareness, radical acceptance. You took control of the situation and you're moving forward. All right, you're leaving them behind. Masquerade, they were wearing a mask. It could be a doppelganger. Somebody very toxic and karmic, okay? They're bound to the devil. Oh, well. Oh, well. Deep, that's a deep subject, isn't it? Oh, well. 
ascending you've ascended they they are not ascending okay transcending obstacles learning expansion new phase preparing for union so that's what's coming and that's what why they're scared how dare you leave me and have a better uh life a better relationship you're showing the world that i'm a piece of shit by doing that well that's too bad right when they show you who they are trust them believe it dream walker dreams the collective good illusions there there's so many illusions here but this is all for the collective good right you had integrity, loyalty, and honesty. You had strength and courage. This is self-respect and self-control. They were hiding behind a different persona or different people, maybe profiles if you have a, uh, online. You stuck your neck out so many times for this person or persons. No more. Maybe they thought one more time, right? No, I don't think so. Fragmentation. Their mind's fragmented and or their stories are 27. They're hiding, right? They were cloaking. Uh, there's an investigation here. You're shining a light on everything. The truth. They were doing magic here. Fragmented. Passion. Insane chemistry. Like each other equally and having fun. So that might be coming. And or they're, if they do get a hold of you, oh, remember how much fun we used to have together? Don't fall for it, okay? Uh, this gives me the impression, I just felt it right now, that they might have an attachment. So be very leery. Do not let them touch you. Do not go near them. Mostly dark though, right? Spirit guides, guardian angels. Ancestors of White Light. What's the parting message here for the collective? How would you like to leave off today? Thank you. Oh, hear that thunder? <laughs> Father's mad. He's doing some cleansing here. Nine. They were hiding and cloaking. There's an investigation. You're shining a light on this, okay? You are a the, uh, the hermit shining a light on it. This is a deep knowing here. is revelations, right? They wanted your money here, that tre treasure chest. It's too bad. They used love and sex to get at it. Or tried to. Treasure Island. That's where you're going. Not them. Maybe that's... They're finding this out, right? So we have... To be fair in reverse. None of this was fair. You didn't deserve any of this, right? Again, it could be a doppelganger. They got one of their supply to, to impersonate you, right? To get something from you. Their hearts are being weighed and their hearts aren't making it, okay? 38. This is... That's 11 in reverse. They committed an injustice against you or a mistrial of, uh, of justice, a miscarriage of justice, par uh, pardon me. It was an, an Im imbalance they created in the universe. Well, it's going to be righted right now, okay? So they weren't fair. They didn't treat you fairly. Yeah. Loyal heart, because you have a loyal heart. 888. Eight, eight. Oh, my God, there's a lot of eights here, too. Oh, sorry. I, was, I did another read. It was at 888 eight, eight, all over the place. You have a loyal heart. It's beautiful. There's only one key to your heart, right? Just like the person that you are eventually going to be winding up together with, your partner, your soul, uh, soulmate, higher level soulmate and or twin, is also going to have a loyal heart. So don't let them shut down your heart chakra. Keep it open, okay? I know it's hard. It's, it takes courage to keep your heart open after doing, you know, dealing with a narcissist, dealing with this bullshit. I know been there done that got the t-shirt so just keep it open though okay try anyways nine in the upright treasure island the law of attraction bringing dreams into fruition the results of positive thinking made manifest abundance appearing as if from nowhere financial gains and the sharing of good fortune congratulations you've worked hard and acted upon your unwavering belief in abundance and suddenly in the midst of it all you hit the jackpot you have uncovered the map to buried treasure and tap the unlimited potential within you buy some lottery what you must hone now is your ability to recognize when X marks the spot because some of these golden opportunities may, may be obvious, but others may not be so readily apparent. Trust your intuition to light your way now as you enter this truly prosperous phase where all the long hard work navigating your inner life is now paying off externally. In all aspects of your life at this time, you have good fortune. Don't forget to enjoy it and share it with others as treasure shared multiplies like magic, but do not share it with these people. Okay. Um, the divine didn't give you these blessings to share it with ne'er do wells. Okay. Because all they'll do is just strip you clean of whatever you have, own. In their mind, whatever you have is theirs, right? And whatever they have is theirs. So 
just to let you know. So it's a protection message in reverse. Injustice and inequity are part of life, but they do not have to define your experience. This is a time when you may observe an injustice righted and fairly redressed. Perhaps you come to the rescue of someone else or are called to answer for a personal slight. You will be amazed by the sense of power that surges through you when you stand up for yourself and others. This card also indicates a good time to advocate for others who are less fortunate. Choose your cause and commit to it because you can make a difference. One thing is for certain, if fairness is, is your intention, the situation will be resolved for the highest good of all concerned through acts of kindness, empathy, and courage. So always lead with integrity, okay? And for for the ones that didn't do, take part in this, that they were actually, they had to go through it, I know you have integrity already. Um, it's easy to have integrity. I don't know why these people can't manage it, but that's why they're, they wear masks, right? Masquerade. That's why they do things in the shadows, in the dark, like magic and slander and stealing. So let them learn the hard way, okay? To be fair, it's getting righted here. Congratulations. I hope you liked the read. Please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care.